Good evening. Welcome to PN High School's Welcome to High School Evening. We'd like to start this evening's presentation by acknowledging our learning tonight is taking place on unceded and unsurrendered Algonquin territory. We thank the Algonquin Nation for hosting us and recognize their enduring presence on this land. I would also like to acknowledge that February is Black History Month. It is the time for all of us to celebrate the lives, legacies, contributions, and triumphs of Black people past and present. Good evening, my name is Al Johnson. I'm the proud principal of Nepean High School. Tonight, we have three goals for you. First, to let you understand a bit about secondary education in Ontario. Second, to understand the secondary school experience in our Ottawa Carleton District School Board. And third, explore your secondary school education in the Nepean High School learning community. We'd like to start tonight's uh, session with a video from our Director of Education, Camille Williams-Taylor. Starting high school is a significant milestone in a young person's journey in education. It is the time where young people can explore their interests, build on their talents, and start to envision their pathway into adulthood. The Ottawa Carleton District School Board is committed to providing a dynamic, engaging, and inclusive school experience where all students are welcome and can be successful through a robust array of exciting and supportive programs and experiences. While there are certain courses that students are required to take, there are also many options for study that students can choose depending on their interests and their plans beyond high school. We know that some students thrive in the classroom, others achieve greater success in experiential learning opportunities or in virtual spaces. In the OCDSB high schools, we work hard to help students and their families to create a learning path that works well for each student. As a district, we are committed to student achievement, well-being, and student voice through inclusive, equitable, and meaningful programs that provide students many opportunities for success. Our high schools are a place where students can come to school, be who they are, and discover who they can become. This is the time to thrive. Welcome. community members. Ms. Smith, if you could please pull up our presentation. Sorry about that. Just to let you know what our administrative team at, at the Pete High School, uh, we have two vice principals. Uh, Ms. Armstrong looks after students L to Z, surnames, and Mr. Pazikoff looks after students A to K. And we have a outstanding office administrator, Ms. McLaughlin. Tonight, uh, just some reminders, our session will be recorded and posted on our website. Uh, there's a Google form that you can find underneath this uh, video, to submit your questions and we'll answer those towards the end of the presentation. And again, additional information can be found on our website, the pnhs.ocdsb.ca. In the OCDSB, we believe all, in all our students. We believe in established a culture of caring, a culture of innovation, and a culture of social responsibility. Our role is to support all families and every student in the pathway they choose. As educators, we are here to support the success of, of every one of our students. As you move through high school, you'll discover that there are many pathways and options available to explore your interests. The staff at the Pian High School is committed to each individual in our learning community. This fall, the OCDSB released our Indigenous Equity and Human Rights Roadmap. Students, families, and community partners within the OCDSB collaborated to create our Indigenous Equity and Human Rights Roadmap to address systemic in inequities and to foster a culture of accountability. We use this roadmap in our decisions at both the system and school level. The roadmap guides us as we actually dismantle barriers to learning and help all our students to achieve. As a school board and as a school, we are committed to Indigenous education. We have central supports and supports at the school, such as our Indigenous student support coordinators to ensure Indigenous students have support, 
opportunities and resources. As a system, we have made changes to the curriculum to include Indigenous histories, traditions, and contemporary realities. As a school board and as a, a school, we are committed to supporting our Black, minoritized, and 2SLGBTQ plus students. At both the central level and at the school level, we provide opportunities for students to engage in equity, anti-racism, and anti-oppression work. At Nepean High School, we honor our students' voices, and we'd like to reflect on the bravery and leadership of our students at our school over the last year. Our students, including members of our DSU, which is our Diverse Student Union, and our GSA, which is our Gender and Sexuality Awareness Club, have brought toward, forward difficult but important conversations about systemic racism and discrimination. Our students have made contributions to make our school a better place for all students. In addition, we have evaluated our course options to reflect the choices and requests of our students. This fall, students can select an all-gendered physical education class as part of their program. At the OCDSB and at Nepean High School, we support our English language learners through a variety of programming and support opportunities. The majority of our special education needs continue, uh, students continue in learning in the re regular classroom. The individual support of our students is reviewed throughout the school year. Just like elementary school, there's a range of supports and services for students. For example, our students receive support from one of our learning support teachers. In addition, their support, the use of specialized equipment or technology in order to implement these a student's IEP. We are especially proud of the work done by our learning center to support our students as they move through high school. As you can see, the OCDSB and the Pean High School supports equity, inclusion, and offers engaging pathways for all our students. Our commitment to excellence for students uh, supports the students to become collaborative, creative, and innovative, critical thinkers, and stewards in a dynamic global environment. There's something for everyone, whether in the OCSB or in the P High School. Tonight, we're going to focus on grade nine and uh, the secondary education in Ontario. Our students are entering grade nine looking to pursue the completion of an Ontario secondary school diploma, which involves 30 credits. 18 which are compulsory, 40 hours of community involvement, and the provincial literacy requirement. Uh, students may also choose to challenge for the Ontario Secondary School Certificate, which involves uh, 14 credits, or a certificate of achievement as well. I'm now going to turn the presentation over to our Head of Student Services, Mr. Greg Fraser, who will talk specifically about uh, moving into grade nine. Mr. Fraser. Good evening, everyone. I'm Greg Fraser. I'm the head of student services and a, a guidance counselor here at Nepean. Uh, welcome class of 2025. Uh, my student services team is your learning support and wellness network throughout your, your high school journey. Uh, we have guidance counselors, student success teachers, learning support teachers, teacher librarian, co-op teacher, guidance services assistant and educational assistants. They're all here to serve you as a learner and to answer your questions, help you make decisions and help you plan your, your pathway through high school and on to your next uh, learning journey. Coming into grade nine, first of all, we want you to be excited about, about high school. We want you to be curious. We want you to come with a, an open mind. And uh, we want you to, to be look, looking forward to your, to your time at Nepean. There are different course pathways uh, in high school. Academic, applied, essential, and open. Academic pathway courses are theoretical and abstract applications of the essential concepts. Applied pathways are practical and concrete applications of the essential concepts. The most essential concepts covered to support students transitioning into high school is the essentials level. And open level courses or pathways are one set of expectations and are appropriate for all students. It's offered for all non-core subjects. These are some other examples of, of learning pathways in high school. 
locally developed and essential courses, academic and, un and university courses, applied and college level courses. And it should be noted that for uh, grade nine math starting in September in 2021, the grade nine math program is de-streamed. There will be one grade nine math pathway for all students. So choosing your courses for, for high school in, in, in entering grade nine, you'll choose a course in English, French, geography, science, and math. So those are the, the five compulsory courses. Students will also choose an arts course, a health and physical education course, and one additional elective course. So here's a, an example of a, a regular English program in grade nine and a French immersion uh, grade nine program. So English is selected either at the academic or the applied level. The math course is selected for both. Science is selected in the English program at the applied or the academic level. And if you're in French immersion, you'll, you'll select the French immersion academic science. Geography and English, academic or applied. Geographie, if you're in the French immersion program. An arts credit, a physical education credit should be noted starting in the fall that we'll be offering uh, male phys ed classes, female phys ed classes, and all gender classes. You'll select another elective and you'll select, if you're in the English side of things, the, the core French, either applied or academic. And if you're in the French immersion program, you'll select the French immersion language class. This is a, and a typical, an example of a, a possible grade nine timetable. So uh, we operate on a, a semestered model uh, under normal circumstances. So your eight courses would be divided into two semesters. Four, four classes are completed in each semester. So semester one runs September to January. Semester two runs February to June. We've got in student services a, a strong special education department to support our, our student learners who have identified learning needs. So if you have an individual education plan, that, that plan follows you into high school and all of those accommodations and considerations are implemented um, by all classroom teachers. Ms. Sophie Hamilton is our, our lead learning support teacher and she's a great resource to contact for any information concerning special education supports or individual education plans. So course selection, you'll be choosing your courses online through a, a website known as Zello. So you can log into your Zello account through the student portal uh, of the OCDSB website and here are some, uh, some introductory videos uh, about Zello. An engaged student is a successful student. It's as simple as that. You've got some kids saying, I know where I'm going, just show me how to get there. And then you have students who don't think there's anywhere for them to go. You have to be able to support both of those students and everybody in between. Get them to take a real look at themselves and see what that means for their future. When you say to students, to any student, your life is not a one-size-fits-all thing. Let's take a look at who you are and how you learn and what interests you and figure out where that can take you. And let's map out how you can get there. You're giving these kids a real reason to care. They see just how much possibility is out there. That's when the switch flips and a student realizes they have a hand in their own destiny. And that changes how a student's gonna view school and learning and their whole story. 
there is a difference in test scores, in attendance, is this positive culture around academics. Proof you can point to and say, these kids have the confidence to tackle the next step, whatever that might be. What happens when students are investing in themselves, it's remarkable. and engage Jello helps students build a roadmap to a successful future using a variety of interactive engaging activities. Let's start with the first page students see when signing in, the dashboard. This is a summarized view of your student's activity in Jello. From here, they quickly access things such as lessons, assessments, assignments you've created, and resources you've uploaded. It can be accessed again by clicking the Zello logo at the top left of any page. Lessons are the first thing on the dashboard. Zello made lessons are a series of fully interactive, personalized learning experiences that help students build the skills and knowledge they need to become future ready. Students learn about these critical concepts like decision making, different learning pathways, work-life balance, and career demand. For any topics outside of Zello's ready-made lessons, your district may create additional lessons for students to complete. These custom lessons can also be linked to activities within Zello. From the top menu, students access About Me, where they express their personality by celebrating their achievements and experiences and recording their interests and skills. As they build their self-knowledge skills, the storyboard is a central hub to collect their inspiration or work they're proud of, such as their best schoolwork, hobbies, and favorite media. The About Me page is also where they'll find Zello's assessments. Here, students reflect on their desired skills and favorite interests and how it all connects to their future options. With Explore Options, students start learning about careers, universities, or programs. The careers list is sorted by the strength of the match for each career based on their assessment results. Students see exactly where their match came from by clicking Find Out Why in the career profile. Career profiles include crucial information such as work environment, earnings, and education pathways in careers. And school profiles will include enrollment, campus environment, and virtual campus tours. The heart at the top of profiles and next to their avatar is where students save and reference all of their favorite ones. Under goals and plans, Students use the course planner and saved options to plan what they'll do after high school. Because every student's future is unique, they can begin their plan with a career, a university, or with a saved program. Students create their personal high school program of study using course planner. This tool incorporates students' course history and automatically checks for things like prerequisites. This way, they can make sure they're on track to graduate and achieve any specializations or endorsements they're working towards. As students work hard at building their self-knowledge, exploring their options, and building their plans, they can share their Zello profile using the share link at the top of About Me. Follow along with your students' work in your educator tools and get first-hand experience with all of these features by trying it out in your demo account. Then feel confident knowing you're helping your students hone their tools for future success. So as mentioned, uh, you're, you're selecting your courses uh, through the course planner option or the course planner feature in Zello. 
this uh, this slide deck has a um, a link to further instructions on how to log into Zello, uh, find the course planner, and uh, select uh, the courses into your your grade nine um, options. The uh, the course submission uh, feature opens on March second. That's when you'll be able to to submit, finalize, and submit your your courses. And that window closes on March twelfth. So there's a two week window there to to select your courses and finalize and submit. Uh, between now and then, uh, that's the time to read the course descriptions in Zello, or if they're also available on the Nepean High School website. Uh, ask questions of your, your teachers, your friends, your family, uh, and certainly uh, reach out to us as counselors and student services to seek advice or have questions answered. So this again is a, is a link to our Nepean High School website and the student services part of that website. Your, your, your grade eight teachers will have ideas about, about appropriate levels uh, for your, your course selections. So take those into consideration. Um, and uh, it, may be, it may be something to consider uh, this summer. There, there are some opportunities for, for grade eight students to access some summer school programming. Uh, one, one program of particular value could be the grade nine mathematics prep program, the get ready for grade eight math program. It's a non-credit program, but it, uh, it, ser it would serve you well uh, in, in preparing for, for high school mathematics. Just gonna go over some of the, uh, the grade nine elective options that, that we have, grade nine drama. These are the course codes, uh, instrumental music and band, vocal music, visual arts, and exploring communications technology. So the, the grade nine tech class integrated technology begins in grade nine and it can lead to senior courses in ComTech, project-based learning environment, two dedicated computer labs, a variety of associated media tools for student use, You'll develop software applications, produce media content in a variety of formats, collaborate to utilize technology effectively to communicate to mass audiences. We're well served at Nepean in terms of our ability to teach technology. We also have a very strong arts program we're, we're quite proud of at Nepean. You can do visual art, dramatic arts, instrumental music and band or vocal music. And if you, you, you take the dramatic arts uh, pathway uh, that can lead to further study in grade 10 of drama and 11 and 12. And we also have a, a grade 10, 11 and 12 theater production program. That's sort of the behind the scenes of dramatic productions and uh, lots of other theatrical opportunities, including improv clubs and teams, children's theater, touring performances, and our, our world famous Nepean spring drama productions. This, uh, this screen will you know, give you some ideas about what to think about in terms of course selection. I've mentioned already talking to parents, friends, and teachers, and other adults. Think about your wishes, hopes, and dreams, your hobbies and interests, et cetera. Next steps. So continue to read about the course options available to you at Nepean. Log into your Zello account to uh, read the course descriptions and get a feeling for the, the website ahead of the course selection window, March 1st to March 12th. And of course, please email um, your guidance counselor here at Nepean High School if you have any questions, if you have any, um, anything that, uh, that you'd like answered. Ms. Friendship is last names A to G. Ms. Wilson is last names H to M. And I'm N to Z. I'm going to pass it back over to Mr. Johnson. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Frazier. Uh, we are very fortunate to have a, uh, a strong leadership team at the school. And uh, there you see some of our department heads in front of you, including Mr. Frazier. Uh, just briefly about after grade nine, I know tonight's really about selecting courses for grade nine, but just to give you some ideas about uh, your life as you go into grade 10, 11, and 12. Uh, you can continue in fine arts. Uh, we have programs in visual art, uh, dramatic arts, instrumental music, including band, and vocal music as you go through your other years of high school. Our Canadian World and Studies and Business Department offers courses in history, which we'll take in grade 10, and geography, business courses, humanities, and social sciences. Our English department offers a variety of courses outside of the, uh, the core compulsory courses. Uh, once you get to senior grades, you can do courses in media, Aboriginal voices, and writer's craft. Our language department uh, offers both immersion French and core French uh, in all grades. And uh, both students in the immersion program, you have the option of taking French and geography in French, sorry, geography and science in French in grade nine science, careers and civics, and history in French in grade 10. And when you do the senior grades, uh, biology, anthropology, and world history are also offered in French. And we also offer Spanish, and Spanish begins in grade 10. Our math program is very diverse, uh, and you can see the offerings there. Grade nine, again, is the stream starting in the fall of 2021, uh, but coming into grade 10, 11, and 12, lots of opportunities and lots of pathways to continue your math education. Our physical education program is uh, it's one of the best in the city. Uh, we offer the traditional physical education courses, but we also offer courses in personal fitness, both our education and at the senior level, two university level courses in exercise science and also in leadership. Our senior sciences, uh, grade 11, you can do biology. You can also do environmental science, chemistry and physics, and in grade 12, biology, chemistry, and physics. Grade 10 is a continuation of the grade nine. It's a single science course. And as Mr. Fraser said, we have integrated tech in grade nine, which leads into our communications technology program in grades 10, 11, and 12. Uh, and we also have computer science starting in grade 10, and that leads to further courses at the university level in 11 and 12. In addition to working towards either the OSSD, uh, the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, or the OSSC, the Ontario Secondary School Certificate, we do offer some additional certifications. And this is, this is done at most of our OCDSP secondary schools. Uh, if you're taking French in grade 12, you can challenge the DELF, which is an internationally recognized exam uh, that, is uh, that its origins are in France. Uh, you get a, a level um, that is universe or worldwide uh, recognized. Um, whether you do core French or immersion French, you can do the DELF. Uh, you can also be engaged in the uh, OCDSP's International Certificate Program. And this is for students, the combination of travel, uh, different courses, looking at another language, uh, but it's about building globally aware citizens and, and really piquing your curiosity um, in the world around you. And again, lots of, of our schools offer this. Once you're here, we can give you more information in grade nine how to get involved in this program. As you move through high school, you'll have an opportunity to engage in several experiential learning experiences. Um, so as you go into grades 11 and 12, many programs you could follow, you can engage in co-op, a dual credit, where you can challenge for courses that get your credit both at the high school level, but also at potentially a post-secondary level as well. You can engage in e-learning, you can engage in uh, youth apprenticeship programs, special science skill major programs are out there, not just at our site, but at several other sites across the board in a wide range of uh, subjects. You can do school within a college, uh, trades and technology programs, and also engage in winning act attitudes, which is uh, a form of core. Our continuing education programs uh, are, are very vast as well. Uh, more so as you go through high school, you can engage in night school. There are summer school credits, and you can engage uh, some high school, or sorry, summer school credits when you leave grade eight. Um, so you can do that this summer between grade eight and grade nine. There are specialized programs. Um, we have the elementary summer school, which at the is the grade nine math prep, as Mr. Fraser alluded to. There's the literacy and numeracy program supports after school, and on Saturdays, traditionally Saturdays, there is an international language credit program 
uh, where you can study another language uh, and also receive high school credit for it. Lots of pathways to graduation. Uh, once you're here uh, at any of our sites, there's many ways to, to explore what you'd like to do as you go through your secondary career. So normally, if uh, we were here in person, we have a chance to have you do a tour of the school and learn about different experiences um, that you can encounter as a student if you're in high school. So just to give you a little selection, lots of activities in the site, spirit weeks, coffee houses, leadership camp, uh, not right now, we're in a unique situation, we all know that, but those are, those are traditional programs that we have in the school. We have many student clubs. Uh, we talked about the, the proactive approach of our diverse student union and our gender and sexually aware uh, clubs, uh, a huge component of our, our, of our program at the school, but we have, we have lots of different clubs. And uh, really, if you think it's clubs that you'd like to have, it's not there, come see us and we probably will be able to support you moving forward with it. Athletics, we've got teams that compete against other schools. We also have intramurals and that's competition within the site, the school. Traditionally, uh, there'd be fall sports, there'd be winter sports, there'd be spring sports. We know that's on hold right now, but just a, just a flavor of what can be available here. Um, and then we've got our new program that uh, happens uh, in the gym, uh, usually Tuesdays or Friday during the school year. We're very proud of our leadership program at the school. Um, starts with grade nine uh, and uh, you know, a traditional leadership camp. There's a program in grade 10 and grade 11, and that culminates with uh, students being involved with our link crew in grade 12. And our link crew uh, is really there to help our grade nines transition through from grade eight to grade nine. So lots of clubs, we've got our student council and uh, many other opportunities to be involved in. Just like we've got a student council, we also have a very engaged school council, uh, also known as a parents council. Uh, we traditionally meet on the Tuesday, the third Tuesday of each month. Uh, lots of support for the school and uh, unique activities to support the students through their learning in the secondary environment. Most of our presentation tonight was focused on students that are in our school board. As Mr. Fraser said, he, he and his team will be coming into class, grade eight classes virtually and walking uh, students through the, the Zello process. If you live in our catchment area, but you are not a current student of the OCDSB, uh, you need to register with us. So please uh, you can go to the board website to register, or you can give us a call at the school. We'll walk you through it. Uh, once you're registered with us, we can then uh, process your uh, your application and move forward. Again, that's for people that uh, live inside our catch. So I'm going to stop sharing there. Uh, and I do know that... Uh, we had several questions that came in. And the nice thing about the questions coming in is that we know there is actually people on the other end. Um, and you know, just before we, we get into the questions, once you've, you've done your selection of course, if you've, you've put the information in, we really wanna make sure that you have the correct contact information because over the summer we'll be in touch with you and then we'll engage you in, uh, you know, in communication information as we move into the next school year and invite you into the school and uh, you know, do traditional activities where our link leaders will help you navigate the system and navigate the school as you go forward. So just some of the questions we've had, uh, when are the applications open? Uh, that will be on March 2nd, due on March 12th. Is there a choir at Nepean High School? Yes, we have a choir at the school. Uh, we talked about grade nine maths. Yes, it is de-streamed. Um, our students that have an IEP, we will do a transition with uh, coming from grade eight to grade nine. Our LSPs will be very heavily involved in that, just like the LSP in the elementary school will help our staff. Um, and again, as we talked about before, we are very proud of our learning center and the support provided to our students as they go through secondary school. What is the difference between early or the immersion program and the English program? Uh, you're, you're challenging the same credits, Typically a student in the immersion program is doing 10 courses in French. And that includes four courses in uh, that are, are the French course, uh, one in each grade, and then six other credits, uh, grade nine, science and geography, grade 10, history, science and careers and civics. And then once you get up to grade 11, there's a choice of courses to take, whether it's in the Canadian World Studies portfolio or in the science portfolio. Uh, how do grade eight students prepare for their community uh, involvement hours? 
if you go to the board's website, there's a, a document there talking about community involvement, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. Uh, students can start working on their 40 hours of community involvement before they enter high school. So you can, well, you can start in the summer before, so you can't do it now, but you know, as of July 1st, um, you can engage in the community involvement. Please check the, the, the website. Uh, some activities are acceptable and some aren't, right? It's not just volunteer work. It has to be to meet certain criteria. It's about giving back. It's about community involvement. Um, if you have any questions about an activity, give me a call. We can walk our way through that. Um, remember, the, the 40 hours is really geared about 10 hours per year of high school. Um, but, you know, the, the sooner you get that done, the, the better you are. So we do encourage you to explore opportunities. And it may be something you're doing right now. Um, and you can start recording those in community involvement hours starting in, in July. How many electives do grade nine students uh, choose? Well, typically we would say there is one, but in some in sense you've got two because in, you've got an arts choice, right? You've an art choice of taking the dramatic arts, the visual arts, the, the music or the vocal, and then you've got another choice and that could be the integrated tech. Um, you can also take two arts courses. So, you know, you've got the, some compulsory courses and then you've got some electives. Um, they all count towards your graduation. Uh, course descriptions you can find in Zello. Uh, you know, if you're moving from, the question is, is there any de deadlines if you move from the co-terminus board to ours? Uh, we'd like you to maintain the, the, the deadlines we put out there. Uh, you know, try to get your application before March 12th. And the reason for that is, we use student choices to generate a timetable for the next year. It may seem way off September 1st, but we look at the numbers of requests per course and that determines how many sections we have of a course. And uh, for some courses, that's not gonna vary much because we all know that everyone's gonna come in in grade nine and take English and they're also gonna take math. And geography might be in English or French, so that's a decision to make, same with science. Um, but where we need to make some decisions is how many sections of music we might offer or how many sections of drama we might offer. So please, you know, try to get your, your applications into us by March 12th. Um, I will tell you this, that those dates were set when we were going to have March break at a certain time this year, uh, that we now know that's going to be delayed. Um, so we may be adjusting those dates and we'll communicate that on our website. Uh, Sports teams, we've talked about sports teams. Uh, languages, yes, we do offer Spanish. We've talked about that. Uh, immersion program, can you mix classes? You need to take the French course. Uh, we, If you're moving towards the immersion certificate, you need to get 10 courses in French over your four years. Um, you can also go for the extended certificate, which is seven courses. Um, so yes, you can choose to take uh, science and English and geography and French if you're immersion. Yes, if you're looking for that immersion certificate, you need 10 courses. Math is de-streamed in uh, grade nine next year. That's a question. Uh, our specialized programs, our environmental uh, specialized high skill major, uh, we will communicate information as you move through to grade 10. Um, the criteria is, uh, is the criteria for most of our courses. Um, and there's not uh, there's not a limit on the number of students other than uh, how many sections we have of that course. Uh, Zello is not replacing Google Classroom. That's a question here. Zello is a, is, a, is a software package that's geared towards course selection and also career planning. Um, more questions with Zello. Again, we'll, we'll get to those, not, not to worry once we visit your grade eight classes. Um, and if you're not in our system, please just reach out to us. Uh, there is a question about cross-boundary transfers. I, I will let you know that uh, our cap for cross-boundary transfers is set at zero. Uh, we will process them um, and there'll be a letter coming home. So if you have submitted a cross-boundary transfer, uh, you'll be getting something in the mail in the next two weeks. So there's a question about the math prep program. That's through our continuing education department. So keep an eye on the continuation uh, link on our on the board's website. Uh, some more specific questions. History class, grade nine. Uh, history is a grade 10 course. You can technically take it in grade nine as a student, but you also need a geography 
uh, credit, uh, compulsory credit. So our plan is to do geography in grade nine, history in grade 10. Those are specific questions that we can work through our guidance counselors. Um, So the question is, can you start a visual arts course and move to dramatic arts later in later years? Uh, there is a possibility of that. Um, you know, some courses have references, some don't. Uh, again, we can we can explore those as we move through the school system. Yeah, the course selection probably will start March second. Uh, I know there's a little discrepancy between one of our slides. Um, again. Wait until the guidance comes to your uh, the graded classroom. We can go through that. Uh, sorry about this. So there's a question about transportation, and transportation is governed by OSTA, and. Uh, the rule right now is you need to live 3.2 kilometers away from the school uh, in order to qualify for a Presto card. Uh, but again, that's under the OSTA uh, jurisdiction, and they will make the determination if you're a recipient of a Presto pass or not. There's a question about our advanced placement classes. Those classes don't start to grade 11 and grade 12. So our presentation tonight is geared towards grade 9. Uh, if you want more information about our advanced placement classes, uh, we can talk with that offline. I know there's some specific questions about teams uh, and you know we can answer those questions offline as well. And that may vary. Um, you know, there we can't we can't predict what's going to happen in the future. And we'll go from there. All right. So that I believe I've captured most of the questions. If I've missed a question, please get in touch with us. Uh, I'd like to thank you. For, for joining us tonight. Again, we wish you were here in person uh, to get a true flavor of the school. I know there's one question here was asked about, uh, is there maps available? We will be able to make sure your, your, your child will be able to move through the school as the, the comment is about being a unique school and it is. It's a unique school uh, because it's been built over many generations. We're closing in on 100th uh, anniversary for this plant, even though we know that uh, Nepean High School as an entity has been around before that. Um, but this one part of this plant's coming up to 100 years and there's other additions. Um, but it is a very unique site. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you in the fall. And also just in the next little while as we continue uh, to work our way through um, your transition from grade eight to grade nine. I'd like to thank you very much and uh, have a great evening.